Hi everybody, I'm Jed Johnson from DieselCrew.com and here is this week's Grip Strength Challenge. It's a two hands pinch and what you're going to do is you're going to use 45s, 35s, 20 kilogram plates, whatever the case may be, whatever you have. Now, what's different about this week's Grip Strength Challenge is it is a wild card qualifier for the Grip Sport National Championships here in North America that are taking place on July 16th, 2011. So, whoever wins this challenge this week will qualify for nationals for their category of competition, whether they're in the novice court category, open category, or uh, elite category. So, <clears throat> here's a look at the, at the apparatus that, you're, that you will put together. These are two 45 pound plates. Like I said, you could use 35s, you could use 20Ks. Probably don't want to use anything like a 25 pound or a 10 kilogram plate because it's going to be too small for you to get a grip onto. Now you're going to need a pipe running through the center. I have a, a steel pipe. You could also use a PVC pipe. If you use a PVC pipe, make sure that when you set the implement down, you're careful, otherwise it will break and you'll have to get a new pipe. So the way that we're going to contest this is to lock out. Generally in uh, grip sport, we have standards that come up with a marker across the top at 16 and a half inches. We're not going to require those for this, but if you'd like to see more information on how that lift is performed in grip sport, check out the video that I have right over here and you can see that right now. So this is how we're going to do it. You're going to position your feet outside of the plates and you're going to take a pinch grip on top of the plates. They have to be positioned on top. They cannot be alternated and they cannot be supinated or underhand. You have to have both hands in an, in an overhand position. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull to lock out. So that looks like this. Okay. If it looks like it was pretty close to lockout, I'm going to pass it. Um, it can be somewhat cumbersome in order to lift the pinch apparatus to lockout. So send me your best efforts. Um, we will not be, you don't have to weigh every single plate. What you have to do is you have to give me a good uh, count of what all the plates are that are added to the pipe plus the pinch apparatus. Um, and then you will have to weigh the loading pipe. That's the only thing you're going to have to weigh is the loading pipe. Now, you'll see here that I have these collars on the front and back. They are used in order to keep the implement tight and also as a spacer. As you can see, if I were to put a 25 pound plate here, I would end up hitting it with my fingers because my fingers are longer. So you're going to want a spacer. Another good option if you don't have these collars is just two and a half or five pound plates added right on the inside of the pipe. Okay? So that is this week's Grip Strength Challenge. The winner will be whoever pinches the most weight. Chalk is allowed. And remember, you have to go to lockout or as close as you can to it. If it looks like you stopped short of lockout, it's not going to count. The only other rule that there, that there will be is that you have to return the implement to the ground under control. So in other words, once you pinch, uh, once you lift the two-hand pinch, if it slips up in your hand, it's no good. I need to see this. Up well near lockout, and return under control. Okay? There you go. Any questions, please leave a comment here below this video. And I look forward to your submissions. And remember, this is a wild card qualifier. You can make it to nationals even if you haven't been to a contest ever in your life. You can be qualified for nationals just by winning this lift or any of the three lifts that are coming up over the course of the next three weeks. All right, that's it. All the best in your training. Take care.